Welcome to 30 Minute uh, Funs and Guns on Tuesday noon hour. We're going to do uh, lots of moves and work focus on the, the arms, so the guns, and also lots of squats and lunges, uh, things like that, working on the buns. I've got a variety of weights, uh, so mine range from seven pounds to five pounds to three pounds. Uh, you can improvise and fill bags with cans. You can go higher than that if you've got heavier weights, by all means. Make sure you adjust um, as it feels good for you. Uh, we're going to start with heavier weights as we do bicep curls because we're stronger with those muscles. Anytime we take our arms away from the center line of our body, we go to a lighter weight because that's a lot of uh, tension under time having that arm and the weights uh, further away from our center line. So make sure you adjust as you need to. We're gonna get started by doing a little warm up. So just a, a march on the spot. Just check your area. We do some squats and we do move side to side, forward and back. So clear an area, making sure you're not gonna hit anything or if we're doing any lunges, you're not gonna step on anything. Deep breath in and out and up. Really get the extension through the spine, reach up, open up and shake it all out. And just go into a little jog. You can continue just marching if that's where you'd rather stay. We're trying to get the blood flow going. You'll feel that your heart rate will increase and your breathing will become more rapid. What you want to do is uh, be able to talk all the time. So not getting to a level of intensity that you can't speak. That's an indication you're working too hard. Now I, you'll hear me being a little breathless when I speak, but uh, I can still talk. So that's my, my measure. Last couple of uh, runs or marches, whatever you're doing, we're going to bring it down. And we're going to go into jacks on the spot. So as we bring those legs out and land, we've got soft knees. Don't stay all the way up on your toes. We want to press a little bit through those feet, but we don't have to connect all the way down to the floor with our heels. And another option on jacks, if you don't like full intensity, you're stepping out side to side. Full range with the arms. Again, we want to wake up the shoulders, get lots of fluid going in those joints, the shoulders, the hips, the knees. Four, three, two, last one, and into squats. So profile view of squats. First of all, you push the hips back and then you sink down. So try not to do it in a reverse order. Because sometimes if we sink down first, we drive the knees forward and we don't want to do that. So you're squeezing your glutes, you're squeezing your inner thighs close together, and you're keeping your chest up and open. Bring those arms out as a counterbalance. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two more, one more, bring it up. Okay, now, instead of a jog, let's do some hamstring curls. So bringing up the heel towards the buttons, squeezing, and then adding more intensity. Notice how I did that here. I've just incorporated more squats. So go down and up. Good. I will always squeeze in more squats where I can. Down and up, down and up. Good. Now take out the down and up because we're going to start changing the direction of the legs. Now we're bringing the knees forward. Just press down your hands on the other side. Okay, we're all going to lift at different levels here. The important thing is to keep the back straight, chest nice and open, and use the core to pull the knee up. Now just a little turn of that leg, so you feel now you're hitting maybe a bit more in the glute, inner thigh working, bringing the foot up to the hand, as opposed to 
hand down to the foot. So we're not leaning. Make the leg do the work. Good. Four, three, two. Last one. Just that little jog again. Should be feeling a little warmer. And just do a couple of jacks and then we'll dine. So just jacks on the spot. Full jacks, side jacks, your choice. Let's do 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Good. Grabbing a drink anytime you need to. Don't wait for my prompt. And I'm going to pick up my heavier weights. We're going to start with bicep curls. So bicep curls, upper arms squeezing into the body, bring it up to your shoulders, and then when you come down, you pass slightly past your hips, up and down. Now we want to get those legs moving, so it's an alternating step forward into a lunge. You choose how deep you go into that lunge. You need to focus on that front leg. You lay on the foot. The knee tracks in the same direction, but does not go over the toe. So you get lower, more intense into your move by lowering the back knee. Good. Make any adjustments you need to with the weights in your hands. If you're finding they're too heavy, not heavy enough, make adjustments. And you can always Take this into a modified step forward. Your knees don't like those lunges. Four, three, two, last one. Good stuff. Okay. We're gonna tap it side to side. And we're gonna start to reach out and in one side. Now I usually go down a little lighter on my weights on this one. I'm going to try to stay up, but that's just me. So if you want to go to a lighter weight, make the adjustment. We're going to be doing this for a while, so it may be fine now, but you might need to go down just because of fatigue. Keeping that shoulder up. Now on the back leg, let's squeeze as we point the toe and tap. Point the toe, tap, good. Reach a bit more. Come out a bit more, reach. Out, feeling it more in through the core. Elbow comes back, stays at shoulder height. Next move, we open to the back. Again, you might be getting tired. The weight might have felt okay at the start, but now it's getting heavy. If that's the case, make adjustments. One more. Good. So that one challenged me. Let's we'll see if my second side is the same. Tap out again. And start to cross your body. Reaching out with the arm. Keeping everything at shoulder height, bring it back. Now lean a bit more, bring it back, lean, bring it back, a little bit more core work. Good. Now we're gonna open to the back, trying to keep the shoulder, shoulder, the elbow at shoulder height. If the arm starts to fall down, you're finding it hard to resist that. That's a sign to go to a lighter weight. Back. Two more. One more. Good. So, every once in a while, I might stay with a heavier weight than I normally do, just for a challenge, because our muscles have memory and they say, hey, Laurel, we're getting so used to you using five pounds for this weight. It's not really a workout anymore. So I need to make sure 
then I focus on that. This one's a little different. So we're just gonna hang onto our weights in a, uh, a hammer curl position. So regular biceps, palms up, hammer curl, palms in towards each other. So it's gonna be a side lunge. And then I turn both feet, turn sideways, do a knee dip, come up, squat, and turn to the front. Side, turn, down, squat, and up. Side, turn, squat, up. Side, turn, squat, and up. Ready? Side, turn, squat, and up. Do whatever feels good with those arms. Side, turn, squat, and up. Side, turn, whoops, losing my balance. Squat, and up. Last one. Side lunge, turn, squat, and up. Okay, going heavier again. And this is where we do our over row and deadlift. So my feet are under my hips and I have a slight bend in my knee. I hinge from the hip so that I have a nice flat back. I extend, I row and squeeze those elbows in and press up. I extend and then I deadlift and stand nice and tall and really squeeze those glutes. So it's over, row, extend, and stand, over, row, extend, and stand, flat back, row high, flat back, squeeze up, over, row. So as you stand up and squeeze through the glutes, just check that you're not locking your knees. So squeeze the glutes without forcing those knees back and up over row extend a couple more over squeeze harder through the glutes squeeze 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 one more good excellent staying in position with feet under hips you might want to just shake them out a little bit and then just start to squat so before we do anything else we want to focus on form, pressing our weight into our heels, pressing our hips back, keeping the chest open. And just to check down at my lowest point, I can still see my toes. So that, that lets me know I'm not driving my knees forward. Adding arms, shoulders, press, shoulders, stand, shoulder, press, shoulder, and stand. When you're standing either here or here, make sure you squeeze everything. <laughs> and I mean everything. It's the glutes. It's the abs. Good. It's those arms. Press up. Control coming down. Press up. Control coming down. Press up. Keep sitting back those hips. One more time. Good. Okay, we're gonna come back to that move and combine them both, but in between, we're gonna go into a longer stance. We're gonna lean forward, and here's where we can do some adjustments with weights. So we're really gonna work one arm, and we're gonna bring the hand down to the foot, and do that row we were doing before, where the elbow comes up, Squeezing, so it's almost like your upper arm is brushing your upper body. Good, elbow comes up high, squeezes into the center line. Now, we're a, little, we're a little stronger with this move, so maybe you want to load up on the weights. If you've loaded up, go a little slower. Good. Some of us also want to add in more leg work. Optional. Good. Four. Three. Two. Last one. OK. 
Okay, let's switch. Second side. So get into position with knee behind your front toe. And let's try it just with one weight, just to see how it feels. You're up on the ball of the back foot. Your core's tight because you're leaning over. Support your back. So you understand your form. Squeeze in the arm close to your upper body as you bring it up. Now, if you want, it's time to add more weight. Also, if you want, the back knee going straight down, straight up. There's no change in the front knee. It's not driving forward. Core tight. Pull. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Really feeling that in the glutes. That's where I felt it. Okay, we're going to go back to the over row, the deadlift, the squat push, the squat stand. We're going to combine it all together. So it's going to go over row, extend, deadlift up, squat push, squat stand, over row, deadlift, squeeze, squat push, send those hips back, squat stand, over row, deadlift, squat push, squeeze up, over row, deadlift, squat push, squat stand, last set, make it really good, over, row, extend, deadlift, squat, push, squat, stand. We're going a little lighter. We're going to be doing either the touch back with our foot or the lift back leg. So we start, elbows bent, palms facing up. And this is about as high as the hands go. And we just start alternating, touching back. Now, in addition to the touch, you also squeeze the glutes, the hamstring, squeeze. And so slow it down so that you've got time to do the squeeze. We're gonna lean forward a little bit and start extending the arm, same side as the leg. Realize it's not coming up, straight out. We're taking a weight away from the center line of our body, so it's making the core work. Now maybe you might wanna try and do a little bit of a wider touch back because we're gonna add a squat. And if you want to also add a lift back there instead of a touch. So super squeeze to get the leg up. It is not a kick, it's a squeeze. Up, core tight. Support your back. Notice that the shoulders are not driving down and back. They're staying stable. Good. If you have anything like a mirror and you can look at those shoulders and see that they're not swinging up and down, really using the back of the legs. Four, three, two, last one. Good job, I'm gonna take a quick drink. We're gonna do a little work. Rotating a weight around our head. Sounds dangerous. It's not. So whatever you're hanging on to, whether it's a can of food or a weight, you've got your hands slightly separated. And I'm just going to do like a split legs stance. I'm not into a, a stride, long stride yet. So, and I'm slightly side to side to help with balance. So I bring the weight in front of me and I turn it and I come over my head and then I twist to the other arm. So left arm on top, go behind, right arm on top. Bring it out front. So you're doing a circle 
around your head, but you're also turning your hands. So, again, it's not fast. And as we move that weight, maybe you're feeling your core making adjustments. Oh, if something's on my left side. Oh, something's on my right side. And the core is adjusting. Good. Last one. Okay, roll out those shoulders. If you need to make an adjustment, go higher or lower. Change your stance on your legs. So here on our second side, if you want to go into a longer stance, maybe up onto the ball of the back foot, which will say I'm a little less stable, so it will engage your core more. Just some tips for intensity. We're gonna go in the opposite direction. So now we have to bring right arm over and then the left arm over to come in front. Right arm on top to go back, left arm on top to come front. So I have chosen a heavier weight. I'm feeling it a bit more. And I just wanna make sure that it doesn't over challenge so that I lose my form. And I've got a really big <laughs> snap going on in my shoulder area. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, but I can hear it. So you are going to make any adjustments you need to. If you're feeling any pain with this move, you're gonna go into something like a bicep curl and don't do over the head shoulder rotation. This is gonna be our last one. So again, really feeling that one in the core. Okay, some tricep kickbacks now. I'm probably going to need to go down to a lighter weight. So I'm gonna start with a heavier weight. If I never try heavier weight, then I'm never gonna progress. So I know I'm only gonna get through a few and then I'll have my lighter weights close by. So feet under our hips, hinging at the hips, knees are soft. We have those elbows up high, squeezing into the center line of our spine behind us. And we try to press the hands out without letting the elbows fall down. Good. I'm gonna do two more. We're gonna keep going though, because I'm just gonna do a quick switch. Keep going, press out and in and out and in good and what happens now it's not super easy because i'm already tired so even though i've gone to lighter weights still challenging me core tight flat back yep really good four three two Last one, bring it up. Okay, we're gonna step side lunge and bring it in. Side lunge, bring it in. Side lunge, bring it in. If you don't like stepping, then just come out of your lunge a little bit. That's always an option. If you're bringing the foot back in, standing tall, it's a little more intense. Now the hand goes higher. So if I have my leg planted, I can still make my hand go higher. That's always still an option. Good. Now I'm gonna bring it to a knee up. So if you've got your foot planted, you're not gonna do the knee up. You're getting enough work coming in and out of your lunge and lifting the hand up. Squeeze up. Two more. Last one, good. Walk it out, that one gets your heart rate going. So again, you're gonna choose whether you're gonna keep your foot grounded and lean into a lunge and stand back up, or you're gonna step into your lunge and step back. So choose your option. From the first side, we know what the different levels of intensity are. So go there whenever you're ready. You don't have to wait for me to cue it. 
up. And again, you're going to adjust your weights. Maybe you're comfortable with heavier. Maybe you want lighter. Two. And one. Really good work. It's a wide stance. Knees going in the direction of your toes as we sit it down into a squat and squeeze up. We want to keep the shoulders over our hips. So we're not going down by bringing the chest close to the floor. Good. And then we check once in a while at my lowest point. Can I still see my toes past my knees? If not, you either step out wider with your feet or don't press down as far. Good. Let's do some alternating lifts to the front, this to the front. Always have an option to do both arms together. Profile view of both arms is making sure the back stays straight and it does not start to swing through the move. Keep it slow. And again, those weights are going away from the center line of the body. You will fatigue faster. Adjust the weights as you need to. Squeeze the legs more. Glutes, squeeze. Inner thigh, squeeze. Two more. One more. Ooh. Way to go. Okay. So our heart rate is still up, our breathing is still probably a little heavy. We're going to start going into some balance work. Bringing you forward, flex turn profile. So you can again see shoulders are back. Back is nice and straight. Use the core to get the knee up. Standing leg. You have a soft knee, it's not locked. And now we're gonna start going into a bicycle. I've still got weights in my hands. You don't have to have them in your hands. On the bicycle, let's just exaggerate the knee up still. Four, three, two, last one. Okay. Back is changed to the second side. Ground your standing foot and start to do that knee raise using the core, keeping the back nice and straight, chest open. Bicycle goes backwards this time. And then so do the arms. So, key in on how you really have to think about this. It's not natural. And as you're thinking about it, is your bicycle still a big circle? So keep thinking about getting that knee up. Four, three, balance, two, last one. Okay. And just a little bit of a side to side, one side, back up, other side, back up, feeling in the side of your waist. We open one side, we compress or contract the other. I love this one for the stretch that I get. One more side. Good, weights down. Grab a drink if you need to, we're gonna stretch it out. So a deep breath. Let it go. And up. Let it go. Up and grab onto your hands. Pull up and away from your head. Slowly bring the arms in front. Thumbs pointing up. Pull away from your shoulders and feel the stretch through neck and upper back. Now just release that, flip the hands press. 
So the thumbs are down, pressing with the heel of each palm, feeling the stretch more in the upper arms. And bring it down, shake it out. Tricep stretch. So elbow by your ear, or bicep by your ear, elbow pointing up. Free hand supports a little bit. Feeling a stretch in the tricep. You can also come across uh, from one side to the other. So whatever you need to do to feel the tricep getting a stretch. And let's release. Other side. If you're using your free hand, it's not a push and it's not a pull. It's simply there for support so that we get the best stretch we can. Bring it down. And those legs. So a nice long stride with the toes of each foot pointing straight ahead. Lean forward, hinging from the hips. The back knee has a slight bend and then you press the heel down of the back foot. And you should feel a more intense stretch through the calf of the back leg. Bring those shoulders back over your hips up onto the ball of your foot, press your hips forward, taking the right arm across your body and supporting with your left hand either below or above your elbow, but making sure your shoulder stays relaxed. You can press forward, you can press forward and also sink down a little bit and get a more intense stretch through the hip flexor, front of the hip and down the thigh. Slowly come up, step in halfway, hands go on your back leg, pretend there's a chair, you sit down slightly, you still have that hinge of the hips, the core is tight, and then we prop up onto the heel of the front foot, toe towards your nose, and you're feeling a stretch in the calf, in the hamstring, and in the glute, so through the cheek, all on the left side, your left leg is the one in front. Bring it down, roll up, and maybe just take a step forward. And again, everything's all in line. The toes are pointing forward. You lean, you bend the back knee, then press the back heel. Feel the calf stretch. Core tight because we're leaning. Slowly come back up onto the ball of your foot. Tuck, press forward with your hip flexors, the hip creases. Bring your left arm across the body, hug in, but don't let that shoulder creep up to your ear. You can sink down a little bit as you're still pressing forward. Stretching down the front of the back leg. Come back up, release the arm, step in halfway, hands on your back thigh, sit back in that imaginary chair, pivot on the heel of the front foot, Sometimes I even take out one arm and pretend I'm pressing against something. So I sit down just a little bit more because this arm is like a counterbalance. I feel a little safer going lower. Toe down, slowly roll up. Last stretch for the quads. So again, leaning on something, ground your standing leg, soft knee. Let's grab onto that heel or pant leg. Press forward with your hips. Little side view again. So the hips are pressing forward. The foot tries to press away behind me and I'm gonna pull in slightly with my hand. All of that is giving me a big stretch down the front of my thigh. Shake it out. Second side, ground your foot. Bring up the stretching leg. Press forward with your hip. Your foot tries to press away, your hand resists, pulls back in, and also you can add the squeeze through the buttons. Good. Shake it out, deep breath in. Let it go. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you here next week. Take care. Have a good one.